No, uh, we, we, we got the, the notice about it uh, a week or so before the actual event, so it was hard for us to keep it a secret from her, and she found out uh, on, the, on that day yesterday. It was pretty cool. Here's a, here's a look at our national picture, and when I showed you this yesterday, uh, that low pressure area was over the Texas panhandle. Now it is uh, moving, making its way across uh, parts of uh, Oklahoma and into Arkansas at this time. All of the uh, all the convection associated with this is well out ahead of the frontal boundaries you can see and having a big impact on Mississippi right now and some of that is stretching down into uh, the North Shore this morning. Uh, yesterday uh, evening the enhanced risk of severe weather area was covering parts of the North Shore stretch a little bit into the river parishes as well for this morning that enhanced area has moved a little bit further to the Northeast but we're still under a slight risk of severe weather and if you're headed east on I-10 or towards Alabama this morning that's where the enhanced risk of severe weather is for today but right now the the terrible weather is especially across parts of Mississippi and you know if you're watching Devin last night he was talking about um, the tornado the fact that the tornado risk for us has increased uh, from yes from yesterday morning to the afternoon and evening one of the reasons for that is the southerly winds uh, or southeasterly winds at the surface and when you go to the upper levels of the atmosphere, the winds are out of the southwest or the west southwest. And when you have a column of air or a thunderstorm rising through the atmosphere and winds that are shifting, you have the real possibility for tornadic activity. So that is an issue for us today, especially across parts of the North Shore uh, this morning. All the thunderstorm activities you can see is moving across Mississippi at this time. And the tornado watch that was issued yesterday that included only Tangipaho and St. James Parish this morning, just uh, about an hour ago has been uh, extended across the North Shore, the Mississippi Gulf Coast, and still includes St. James Parish. And instead of 7 a.m., it now expires at 10 a.m. this morning. So if you're in those areas, you know, keep weather aware at least until 10 a.m. this morning. So our, our risk categories have increased since yesterday morning as well uh, for tornadic activity. It's now medium level for hail, you know, quarter size hail reports off to the west of us and across parts of Mississippi right now. I haven't seen that here, but uh, I think we've got some pea sized hail across parts of the North Shore over the last half hour to an hour. And damaging winds are a real possibility uh, for us today. And the winds have been blowing 10 to 25 miles per hour this morning, gusting up to 30. So it's an issue for us this morning, but especially especially again across the North Shore where the worst of the weather is and the thunderstorm activity stretching into Alabama at this time. So our current radar picture doesn't have too much activity for us down here on the South Shore right now. But as you can see across the, the North Shore, Washington Parish seen some very strong storms, heavy rainfall over Angie and Barnado right now stretching over towards uh, Franklinton as well. Here's the area that uh, is now under a severe thunderstorm uh, warning. And so if you are in this area, northwestern uh, Tangipahoe, northwestern Washington Parish, you need to definitely be weather aware. 320 lightning strikes in the last 15 minutes in this area, and all this is moving uh, slowly to the east. Uh, so, and keep in mind that the, the rainfall amounts, uh, the rainfall rates have been pretty significant, almost three inches per hour in this area where the thunderstorm activity is occurring right now. And also very similar numbers over in Washington Parish, over Angie and Varnado at this time. But again, just some spotty showers down here on the south shore. I'm expecting our rainfall rates down here to increase as we go through the next several hours. Temperatures right now are in the, the low 70s for the most part. I think we're going to stay in that range for the next several hours as well. And as I put the model into motion, notice the activity stretches down here onto the south shore as we go into 7 and 8 a.m. this morning. And then by 11 a.m. this morning, most of the activity is to the east of us. And most of the models are showing the skies clearing up very nicely this afternoon and temperatures rising into the low 80s. So it should be a sunny and warm afternoon. And overall, the weekend is looking pretty nice. We're going to wake up tomorrow with to temperatures in the 40s and your afternoon highs instead of the 80s today those afternoon highs will be in the upper 60s low 70s tomorrow and pretty much on Sunday as well the first day of spring the next big rain is going to be on Tuesday and Wednesday all right